got his cut music. I am the number one contender for the heavyweight title. I beat Andrew Dust last week. Week before, I annihilated Olin. So, Umberto, why don't you just come out here, get the pair work done, so I get my match tonight. It's daytime. Nothing, nothing to sign. Come on. Just keep it. Sure. Keep my title shot. Right now. Right now. Forget it. Come on. Don't be a dick. Yo, yeah. What is this? What is this? Come out here demanding stuff. I run this show. You don't book anything. Second of all, you may be champion and all, but let's not forget, I run this show. No one else runs this show. I run this show. You guys can't come out here and be making matches all by yourself. This is not how things work. You, you don't even deserve that title shot in the first place, all right? You got lucky against me. You got lucky last week against Angel. It's all luck, no skill. It's all it is has right. been in your career. I won wrestler of the year, my first year. Once again, luck. <laughs> These motherfuckers right here. Obviously, Mr. Brian Olin, Commissioner Sir, you didn't see my segment last week where I, uh, Express my feelings towards you and everybody else because you guys are still doing what you're doing. You may be number one contender, you may have a problem with that, but I still have a number one contender, or my rematch clause actually, uh, to use. Obviously, I can't use it, but my boy Backyard, who's back tonight, and I found him on the streets, and he's going to be using it tonight. You, you can't. Hold on, that, it, that's a clause in your contract. You can't just go and give that to someone else. That doesn't make any sense. He's not just anybody else. He's my heterosexual life mate. Backyard, right yeah. here. He's not just anybody else. I had that shit in a Swiss bank account to make sure none of y'all motherfuckers stole my number one contendership, rematch clause, whatever the fuck when I want to use it. I don't feel like waiting until next year, later in the year. He's using it tonight, and it's legal, because he's my partner, and we're going to be the first tag team ever to have two members hold a heavyweight title in the same group in the same year. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Humberto, you've got Backyard for the belt tonight. And there's nothing Olin can do about it. All right, all right. I'm, I'm seriously, I, I run this show. It's me. So I'm sick of everyone coming out here booking their own matches. It's me who runs this show. So you know what? Fine, fine, fine. You have a, a, a rematch clause. You want to use it. That's fine. We're going to book one-on-one -on -one for the title. Backyard, Humberto. And seeing as you want your match as well, and you accepted it, I don't know why. If you manage to win this match, d defend your title, you're going one-on-one -on -one with Aaron right after that match. <laughs> so I hope you're ready. Bastards, I've run this show. He acts like he's got a fucking choice book back there. Exactly. You're winning the belt there, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah. fucking steal right there. All day, baby. Yeah. We're taking it. You're going to lose. We're taking it. It doesn't matter. It's all right. Yeah. Black power. We're gonna, we're gonna, so the title's coming back to South Side. Come on, come on, come on, Ron. Not now, Ron. Not now. Not now. We'll get it later tonight. Don't waste the time. Don't waste the time. Come on. God.
Big Backyard Wrestling. I come out here today and say, hey, there's no Big C. No Big C, right? Because professionalism is out the door, I guess, with him right now. Out the de the goddamn door. You know what, Big C, suck my balls, and when you get back, I hope you see this, because you're a fucking asshole. Ha! How about that? That was quite an interesting speech. On behalf of Dave Dawson, eh? Fuck hoes! Well, <coughs> as you know, I'm Brian Olin. The Commissioner Brian Olin. And I'm... Who am I? God damn it, Rush. Say it, please. And sitting next to me, of course, is Rush. No! You fucked it up. Start over. What do you want me to say, Rush? Former WMWA Heavyweight Champion Rush. A little more pizzazz, I'll do it. Uh, the former, <laughs> the former WMWA Heavyweight Champion Rush. We're locking up here at Rising Above Number One, and we got a schoolboy going right now. See, I've never seen anyone with a schoolboy have that big of a smile on it. He really thought he had it there. <laughs> but we got TJ Price locking up with Dave Dawson, and uh, Dave Dawson willing to wrestle anybody on the roster. Not afraid of any challenge. CJ Price is willing to make a name for himself, so this is going to be a good opening contest. That's for Dave. Damn sure. Well, I'll give you some props for booking this one. By some props, I mean two knuckles. I hate you, Rush. Why, why do I let you commentate? Because you got nobody better. And it's not commentating. I don't do commentating. I'm uncommon. I'm an uncommon being. This is uncommentating. That's what I do. Whatever you say, Rush. Whatever you say. CJ Price got control of the arm, and he's uh, trying to, going for a big suplex. Forced that one over right yeah. there. Dave tried to hold his weight down to, to avoid it, but CJ's strong enough to get him over. A punch to the head. He's got to keep those fists open. This ain't a boxing match or anything. Going for a huge hip toss. And do a cover. Right. It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep Dawson down, I'll tell you that much. Da Dave Dawson, as you all know, two-time heavyweight champion, first ever triple crown winner. Into a uh, full body cover, he kicks out, but he's able to grab the legs and stomp right to the gut. Come on, the gut, the nuts, it was, it, it looked a little low. I don't know, it, it, that, that was, was definitely that was a stomach, stomach, in my opinion. Dawson says it's a stomach, I trust him. Ref would have at least gave him a warning if he thought it was a low blow. You know the matches never get called for low blows. God knows there's been a lot of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that should be our slogan. We're going to kick you in the nuts. <laughs> That's one thing I've been trying to get away from. Hey, well, I mean, I know you never use low blows on your day. I don't really use them much myself, not my, not my style. Not sure what quite happened there, but... Huge big back body drop! And CJ Price is feeling it right there. That's a big maneuver into a cover. Pour him across the face for a little extra leverage. Leverage. Going for a snapmare, and he gets it. Punches right across the face and the nose. You gotta watch that. You open him up right there. Ah. CJ really now. Ah. Drop right to the back of the spine. Yo bitches. Punch right to the gut. Nice, nice basement drive kick by uh, CJ Price. Caught him right in the shoulder there. He's going for the pin, awfully close to the ropes. Though. He's had a lot of impressive matches, and he has actually had a few wins since his return. But he needs to beat a bigger star than he is. And Dave Dawson is clear caught bigger star than you. Dave Dawson's been here since the inception of WMWA. Oh, by leaps and bounds, he's a bigger star. Dave than Dawson has won a match of the year three times. No one's ever won it that many. So, major props to that. He's won it in 2005, 2008, and 2009. Actually, and 2010. He's won it four Ooh. times. Big, uh, uh, atomic, atomic drop. drop. I was thinking about calling it a Manhattan drop, but that's not really what it is. Not at all. Well, then don't get, don't get snippy with me. Too late. Huge scoop slam. 
That's textbook there, people. Break out the books. Meet you at the bus stop, because Dave Dawson's bringing you to school. The mini bus. See Jay able to kick out there. Dave Dawson would love to get himself back in the running for the rest of the year. Huge in Zaguri and a flip off of that. So much momentum. Full props to CJ Price for that one. Nice maneuver. Come on, Rev. Kick him right in the back of the skull. Dawson's uh -oh. neck breaker right off the shoulder. That's that's his tough, tough landing. I personally think that's even tougher of a landing than if he had landed flat. Nice little mafia kick right to the face. CJ staying on the upper body, keeping the wind from him, working on the neck and the face, and just anything above the waist CJ's been going on. Come on, bro. CJ trying to do whatever it takes. Even letting his imagine pocket hang out. Imagine what a win would do for CJ Price. I mean, I mean, yes, Doug Johnson doesn't have a championship, but you, you definitely have a, a running for a, a hybrid supreme title. He'd be right up there. Move him up in the ranking. So, I think it's just, it's just, That's know. if he can beat someone like Dawson, and it's going to take a lot to beat someone like There's Dawson. Guillotine on the top row, absolutely. I mean, it's no easy task. I mean, Dave Dawson doesn't lie down for anybody. The last guy to beat Dave Dawson here was the Humberto in the triple threat match uh, with Big C. And Dave Dawson had some choice words for Big C before this match. Oh. Elbow drop right across the chest there. Ah. Armpit slap. That's number one. I wouldn't be surprised if that was. You go into one. a match with with Dawson. You should expect those. No, he that's his that's his thing. He likes to tag tag people with those. You would think he's got some kind of armpit fetish, but I don't think so. Stiff kick to the chest there. Oh man, double arm hip toss, a kind of uh, almost like a scoop slam. I've never actually seen that. I've seen people do that into backbreakers, but Dave Dawson doesn't really do many backbreakers. So it's more of a my thing, and CJ likes to steal a backbreak for me once or twice. As long as he knows they're mine. Dave Dawson trying to get him a headlock, CJ's fighting out of it. Fighting him off. Going for a duck, a duck of the line. Going for an O'Connor roll, or maybe a German suplex here. Huge German suplex all that way coming down on Dave Dawson's neck right there. I think CJ started off trying to get an O'Connor roll out of that, but by the time CJ, uh, Dawson got the to the hell? rope, he was frustrated enough and decided Just to go straight with German. Just straight powered him over his head right there. Uh, Dave's, Dave's loopy. Dave has had a concussion in the past. I mean, you know that weight coming down? I mean... It's, you know, you're a little more susceptible to concussions after a first one, and I wouldn't be surprised if that I mean, or the Integuri did something. But right now, he looks completely loopy, and I think it's just more than just fatigue from all the maneuvers. But luckily, I think Dave Dawson's knees have been holding him great ever since he came back off his injury in late May. Uh, so I'm glad to see that. Dave Dawson is needed here in WWE. Huge backbreaker. That's the uh, your basic fundamental backbreaker. I'm not going to give CJ any shit for doing that. You know, it's, it's, that's legal. If he starts breaking out the fancier stuff, that might be a problem. But hey, he's doing what he's got to do. Working on that back of Dave Dawson is a good maneuver. German oh, suplex. Rush. What, what do you want? You, you claim to have, you know, oh, wow, oh, that was quick fancy. roll up. I can't even complete what I wanted to say there. He got the quick roll up. He tried to get the three count, but couldn't. That was extremely fancy. I thought that maybe he might go for a sunset flip, but it was like... He like rolled around him almost. Extremely fast uh, schoolboy. Into like a... Uh, I don't even know. Dave Austin has some fancy maneuvers. He's got some quick pins that I've never seen before. He's a unique kind of guy. I mean, he's won match of the year, like I said, four times. That's, that's no easy feat. Wrestlers may not even ever get to do that in the time Dave Austin has. Nice scoop slam. Picked him up and threw him, it looked like. That's a Chucky scoop slam. <laughs> Almost going for military press there, but I, I don't think Dave, uh, CJ Price may be heavier than Dave Dawson, so I don't think he can figuratively get that done. 
Nothing against Dave Dawson, it's just an extremely tough maneuver. Northern Light Suplex with a beautiful bridge by CJ Price. I give him full props for that. Northern Light is a great maneuver. What the fuck? Bam's taking credit for Northern Light Suplex. Punch to the head by CJ. Might be going for his cash flow. Huge Dawson drop, he got it. Going for the cover. And that, that's all she wrote. Dave Dawson with a huge victory to open up Rising Above. Dave Dawson, Big C. That's just a rivalry that will never die. They both are two-time champions, but Dave Dawson, uh, he's the ground professionalist. 